Hi all, this is Disha Shukla and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about IEEE 802.11 Medium Access Control Layer. So, wireless local area networks operate using a shared high bit rate transmission medium to which all the devices are attached and the information frames relating to all the calls are transmitted. Max sublayer defines how a user obtains a channel when he or she needs one. Max schemes include random access, order access, deterministic access and a mixed access. The random access MAC protocols are ALOHA that is asynchronous slotted career sense asynchronous uh, slotted protocol. The next protocol is career sense multiple access that is CSMA and along with that CSMA CD that is the career sense multiple access collision detection that is it also includes uh, detection of the collision. Then the next we have is the C, uh, CSMA CA that is collision avoidance. The next is non persistent and P persistent. The maximum throughput of a slotted Aloha protocol is about 36 percentage of the data rate of the uh, of the channel. I mean the 30 percent 36 percentage of the data rate of the channel is the generated throughput on in a particular Alo uh, Aloha protocol that is the slotted Aloha protocol. It is simple but not very efficient. So most wireless LANs implement a random access protocol and CSMA-CA with some modifications to deal with the hidden node problem. The CSMA peaks at about 60% when the traffic becomes heavy. It degrades badly. IEEE 802.11 uses a modified protocol known as carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance or distributed coordi coordination function that is the DCF. CSMA-CA protocol is very efficient, uh, eff effective when the medium is not heavily loaded since it allows the station to transmit with minimum delay. But there is always a chance of station simultaneously sensing the medium as being free and transmitting at the same time causing a collision. This collisions must be identified so that the MAC layer can retransmit the packet by itself and not by the upper layers. That would cause significant delay. In the Ethernet with CSMA CD, the collision is recognized by the transmitting station which goes into a retransmission phase based on the exponential random back off algorithm. While this collision detection mechanism are a good idea on a wired LAN, they cannot be used on a wireless environment for two main reasons. Implementing a collision detection mechanism would require the implementation of a full duplex radio that is capable of transmitting and receiving at the same time, an approach that would increase the cost significantly. Now, in a wireless environment, we cannot assume that all the stations hear each other and the fact that a station wants to transmit and sends the medium as a free does not necessarily mean that the medium is free around the receiver area. To overcome this problem, the 802.11 uses a CA that is collision avoidance mechanism together with a positive acknowledgement. The MAC layer of a station wishing to transmit senses the medium. If the medium is free for a specified time called the distributed interframe space, then the station is able to transmit the packet. If the medium is busy, the station differs using the exponential back of algorithm. This scheme impl implies that except in case of a, of a very high network congestion, no packets will be lost because the transmission occurs each time a packet is not acknowledged. This entitles that all the packets sent will reach their destination in a sequence. Now some of the reasons it is preferable to use a smaller packet in wireless LAN environment are the, the first one is that due to the higher BER of the radio link, 
the probability of a packet getting corrupted increases with the packet size. In case of a corrupted packet, smaller packets can cause less overhead. On a FHSS system, the medium is interrupted periodically for hoping with the smaller packets, the chances that, tra that the transmission will be postponed after the dwell time is reduced. A simple send and wait algorithm is used as the max sub layer. In this mechanism, the transmit transmitting station is not allowed to transmit a new packet until one of the reasons happen. The first one being re either it receives an acknowledgement for the packet or it decides that the packet was retransmitted too many times and drops the whole frame. Now this is all about the IEEE 802.11. Now if you have any questions in this, you can ask me. Until then, keep learning.